everyone and welcome back so in the the previous video we were able to create a simple stack with s3 bucket with a simple dynamo db table and a simple lambda function now we will see we will introduce api gateway here which is aws api gateway and we will see how it really works so uh, what we are doing is a lambda cannot be triggered directly without API gateway okay so this is our lambda there can be multiple lambda functions okay and for data storage we have a dynamo table this is like we are talking about serverless stack DynamoDB and uh, maybe we also have S3 bucket to store some content some for, from some services okay so how it really works is the request will come from the client that has to go through the API gateway now API gateway is like a simple uh, construct we need to create this API gateway can do couple of things I mean this is AWS API gateway can do n number of things but here we are talking about particular use cases either you can create a simple proxy so that whatever the request is coming from this API gateway API v1 user API v1 anything will go to this lambda and we already know that in the current stack we are current uh, AWS CDK whatever we are doing we need to have API gateway with each and every lambda right so this is our lambda we can simply do the proxy what proxy will do is all the requests will directly go to the lambda and then lambda can just do its stuff like writing to s3 bucket reading from s3 bucket or writing to the dynamo db table it's like a simple rest api right these are the simple rest apis we are exposing or what you can do is you can go in the old way we are not creating a proxy here on the rest api gateway what you will do you will create a resources okay the user you will create a resources like user is a resource and then you will create a methods like get put post i will show you how it really works manually and then we can also think about uh, doing it so this is let's say API gateway we'll go to that console API gateway here if you create a API gateway manually okay HTTP APIs demo APIs so here you can add a methods like for the integration request this is the default name is the stage that's fine create so we are creating api gateway now on this api gateway what you can do is you can create routes resources and all I mean this ui has little change little bit changed since i saw the last so here this is the get request and this is the resource you can specify here users what you are doing is you are adding a get method to the user's resource so you can see this is the get method now what you can do is you can attach a lambda to it so integration with i think it will be in the inside integration create an attach, attach an integration to this you can choose a lambda function okay now you might already have some lambda function like this lambda is function or currently we don't have any other lambda function and description this ui had changed a little bit recently on the aws api gateway but this is how you are defining the mapping similarly here if you go to the routes this is the get function but you can also create uh, another function like let's say the post on the users so what you are doing is you are not creating a new resource you are just creating a new method similarly let's say i'm just creating a put method on the users so users is actually a resource and these are the methods you are creating so you can actually go manually and attach the integrations okay for put 
have a, I have a, another lambda. For get, I have another lambda. For post, I have another lambda. That's just a way in which we do create API gateways. Okay, I will just delete this one. We'll create our API gateway, or we just create a proxy. Because in our case, what do we have? We have this. Actually, this is actually a user microservice or auth microservice because every service will have its own API gateway and the Lambda. So we just need to create a proxy. So whatever the request is coming, this API gateway will proxy to the Lambda because Lambda cannot expose itself to the outside world. You need to attach an API gateway and the API gateway we are going to have is just going to proxy because this Lambda is not just a simple one single file. It's a whole nest JS microservice which already has all the APIs in it. It's like a simple living HTTP server, which has already all the APIs get put, post and all the resources. So the API gateway will just do the proxy and this Lambda will handle how to deal with the, all the requests coming for different resources and different methods. That's just one way. Another way is you define all the, the, all the methods and all the resources at the API gateway and link individual small, small Lambdas which are not coming with API gateway each and every one. Let's say this is for HTTP get, this is for HTTP put, this is for HTTP post. So here we will, we will be doing the request mapping with the different methods. That is just another way. So how we can, how we can achieve all those things? If you want to just create a simple proxy, what you will do is I will just create a gateway. const api gateway equal to and now here we will be just using the cdk construct cdk dot aws gateway aws api gateway dot lambda integration and here you will pass the scope and your api gateway name so the api gateway name can be simple as user api gateway And you can also pass the stage. And then the next argument is because here this is the proxy API gateway. So we have to pass all the arguments like what is the handler. What happened? Lambda REST API. It should be Lambda REST API. Okay, now we can pass all the arguments. Handler. Handler is your Lambda function which you created here. API Lambda function. And uh, deploy through. All the required arguments proxy this is important because we are doing proxying and then uh, the the mime types for the api gateway because api gateway is just going to proxy all the requests so what we will say is whatever is coming except all the mime types and another option is a deploy options we also want to pass the stage stage name we already have a stage so this will create just a proxy and then we can just put it in the export names this is user api gateway ern so here we are creating the api gateway we can just print the api gateway bucket here api gateway rest api name api gateway dot rest api name okay and we just do is cdk deploy i think store stage is already populated
so here we are we just have created a proxy api gateway that will just take all the request and take it to this lambda now this lambda function is doing nothing but so just a simple if you see the lambda function it is just sending this simple message but it can be a simple nestjs service and maybe i have already destroyed this uh, stack so i will be creating everything again so it will be creating all the resources that's little bit time taking now next thing we are going to talk about is how we can do the mapping of individual resources with the different lambdas okay it's not like we create a simple lambda there can be a multiple lambdas and they will be attached to the different different http methods and the resources at the api gateway level so here we can see that we created this api gateway and this is just doing only proxy and you can see the integration this proxy request is going to the lambda function this lambda function so this is what we created in the the last video and it is only talking about how we do the integrations okay there is can be a proxy integration with the api gateway or you create these uh, individual http resources and build a rest apis like uh, you build the resources on the api gateway which we talked about like uh, here you can just create a simple api gateway and then create the resources manually that we have seen in the last video now what we are going to do that we are going to automate it we are going to create a simple rest apis through the code so i'm just going to take some helper example and try to create a simple rest api interface okay so this is our simple stack okay that is using dynamo table simple lambda function and this api gateway now we are not creating a proxy api gateway what we are creating is we just want to create a simple rest interface exposed through the api gateway itself not through the lambda so the lambda is just like a simple functions so i will try to just change it lambda integration so this will come from the aws for a cdk dot it will come from cdk dot aws lambda or it's come from aws api gateway dot lambda integration and here we need to pass the lambda function api lambda function let's say this is api users api get user lambda function okay and we will just add the integration and this we need to attach it to our resources so the resources will be here we are creating a proxy resources items uh, and we can call it as like a user resource and we are getting adding a one method get to this get all integration get all user integration just use some proper names so we will know and there is a method post and there can be another function we can create i will just copy it for now this is pointing to the same function here it is api get user api post user we need to change couple of things api maybe a get user just put some do some changes api post user and also you need to change the lambda function otherwise you get a conflict right api get user lambda api post user lambda so we will just create it as a api post user lambda or better names is create user update user uh, get user so we will just add some permissions also because we are using dynamo and s3 so we can add uh, permissions to this another lambda also and then we will inspect the whole aws resources whatever we are creating this rest api should be coming from api gateway aws gateway dot rest api so here what is your users api name it's like users apis and i can just put a stage here this is my 
स्टेज नेम ओके एंड दिस इज लाइक रिसोर्स आर एडिंग यू यूजर्स सो इट विल बी एच टी टी पी यूजर्स गेट एच टी टीपी यूजर्स पोस्ट एंड देन देर इज अनादर इंटीग्रेशन यू नीड टू क्रिएट फॉर द सेकेंड लैमडा विच इज पोस्ट users integration and here you just need to pass api post user lambda function and then add this lambda integration to the function and now we can also add a cross origin resource sharing policies that we can skip for now because sometimes when you do the integration with the front end you need to send a particular headers so you need to allow front end which is running on different uh, endpoint or different port to communicate to the api gateway so you need to send a cross origin resource sharing headers from this lambda so that they can talk now uh, this is first lambda api first lambda arn this is we are just exporting them as an output API post user lambda ARN and function ARN. Okay. Now what we did is we have created this. We are creating this users resource on the API gateway. And where we are creating API gateway here. It will create an API gateway for all these resources you are creating. Here you can create n number of resources. I mean I really don't do the in this particular times. we just use a lambda function having all the microservices in it but if you want to do the mapping when i say mapping means we are actually creating these resources here okay i'm using users uh, auth cart all these apis and then for each and every get put post method there will be individual lambda pointing to this so users this is simply uh you can say simply http get get right so now another api is let's say the create user it will be http post resource name is still forward slash users this is resource name and similarly similarly there will be another lambda integration you will do you will write lambda so you can see the same thing we are doing in the code we created a lambda then we are creating a resource and that resource we are, on that resource we are adding the methods http methods get put post delete patch and adding those lambdas to those particular methods because when i say http get users that that particular lambda will hit when i say http post users there will be another lambda which will be submitted so this is rest api name is user service stage okay now let's try to deploy it we have rest api api dot rest api name I mean, we may see because I didn't destroy this uh, earlier stack. So, because we changed a lot of names, the resource names either let because export names may also create a conflict. I will just create okay. So everything is same. Stack name is same. let's see do we need s3 bucket so we you can say user api is upload and for dynamo table api users users table let's say okay api get these are the two lambda functions and now what we need to do is simply cdk deploy so what cdk deploy will see is we have two lambda functions and these two lambda functions are simple pointing to the same index handler okay
now we need to wait until this is done i mean it will take time because we are creating a lot of resources api gateway uh, resource and then two lambda functions uh, dynamo table also i changed the name of the resource so it will create a new dynamo table similarly new s3 bucket and then you can see all the progress happening on the aws cloud formation it is creating the same stack i mean if the stack exists and then it will it will delete the earlier resources because i changed the names so what that means is if those resources exist and i change the name here the bucket name then the earlier bucket name i'm not using and the removal policy is destroyed so it will delete those resources so you can see it's like going to take a lot of time so we just need to wait and watch here we can see all the resources created this is our api gateway and this is simple lambda function this is api gateway this is s3 bucket dynamo table api get function api post user function now let's see this on the console so here we can see two lambdas post user get user and on the api gateway i can see this api gateways so the earlier API gateway might have been deleted because we replaced it. So this is now our API gateway and you can see the, the resources. You can see the resources, get, and this is the integration request is going to the Lambda function, this Lambda function. Post is also going to the same Lambda function, right? You can see the integration is happening through the Lambda function, right? we have just a simple stage prod so the api endpoints looks like this you can see hello from my lambda function this is get request so this is coming from our api gateway response right okay we can we don't have anything else like we didn't create any api gateway models it's just like simple resources we have created and uh, those resources are just hitting the lambda and that all happening through the aws cdk apart from that we also let's check on the lambda functions and their permissions because we were attaching some policies to the lambda functions so that we can see configurations okay you can see CloudWatch logs, it has an access to S3, SNS, and DynamoDB because we attach the policy and you can see the role document. We allowed for S3, read and write, anything, all the operations on this particular bucket. And for the SNS, for the DynamoDB, all the operations, right? And rest all are like creating the logs and all. Here you can individually see what you can do on the DynamoDB. These all operations you can perform on this particular table on the s3 bucket on sns i mean you can access or any sns topic you can send it a message and this is the cloud watch logs because we added this policy and you can also monitor and check the logs what is happening with this particular lambda so we are sending a request so when we send a request it will generate the logs and that it i mean it will generate the log stream and that we can see okay i'm not printing anything in the logs right now i can just see if the logs are getting generated currently there is no much logs so these are the role groups okay so these are the lo logs created for the api post and api get and the retention period period is you can see five days after five days these logs will be gone so it's a simple stack we have created uh, through the aws cdk now the another important part is how we are managing the roles and permissions here we are doing a grant so that this lambda currently this lambda is doing nothing it's just like index.js but when you write a microservice whole zip file you should be able to upload using this stack like instead of assets simple file you can upload a whole zip and there will be a sing simple handler a single function handler that will be bootstrapping your uh, express service or the nest js whole api system 
Okay, so this is all about the API gateway. Now we will come to uh, some of other topics of AWS CDK and then we will jump back to the Uber Eats clone app. So let's see some simple examples. Let's say if I do CDK deploy, what will happen is I didn't change anything in the whole stack. So the deployment will be very fast. I didn't change any resource names. I'm not deleting anything. So it will just check. Okay, it will just upload this code. Now you might just do some code update and just deploy. It will be ultra fast because it will generate the CloudFormation template and it will try to identify what is the chain set. And if there is no particular chain set, then the deployment is fast and it will give you all the resources. But let's say you are creating another Lambda, which is, I'm just naming it to API put users. So it's like a new Lambda we are creating. And I attached this resource to this is API put, I guess. Yes. So I did a permissions and add a created integration. Put user integration and this is pointing to this Lambda. So I created a new Lambda. And I will be adding that to this resource users put. So now it's really changed, right? So my Lambda function is API put user Lambda function. And I can just do a deploy. CDK deploy again. Now it can see, okay, there is a new Lambda you have added. So it will try to deploy this because when it will try to find the chain set, it will know, okay, you created a new Lambda with a new name. So it will add this resource on the API gateway and it will, it will also ask for the permission. Okay, this is what the, the resource it is creating, API put user, API put user. So it needs to give all the permissions all the things which we are doing for the other lambdas and we can also see that the cloud formation what resources it is creating that's important because here you can track everything api lambda stack all the resources you can see it has a table it has a s3 bucket and three lambda get put and it is creating the other new lambda This is the stack info and these are the outputs. You can see whatever the outputs we are generating, adding in the cloud formation output, get user, post user. And now we will also see put user. It's like it's updating and creating the new resource. This is updating the existing stack and then creating this new resource. So creating progress means we are creating API put user develop. This is the new Lambda function it is creating. So this is all about this tech. Now let's see a couple of more demo because this, this is a really interesting topic. We are doing everything with the code on AWS 